Good evening, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us. I am so excited about tonight because we have a super special guest, and we'll get to that in just a second. Um, but I want to call your attention to just a couple things before we turn over um, the call tonight and talk about our topic. So if you didn't see on your news tab, um, Redemption for Monsters, Inc. Second Chance Presale runs from June 7th to July 31st. So that's the redemption. So if you have anybody that needs to redeem and order the second chance for Monsters, Inc., re you, redemption is open. Um, Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze is available to add to Scentsy Club through the end of June. So snag that if you, um, uh, if you have anybody interested. I know I did. I got really good reception on people that ordered that with their succulent warmer. And so um, I went ahead and added that and coconut daiquiri to my club just today. Oh, and Fiji flower, because if you haven't used that, it is incredible. And the Fiji flower fragrance flower is outstanding. It is on, it's, it's amazing. Um, Redemption for Polar Panorama Second Chance Presale runs from June 7th to July 31st. So same as Monsters, Inc. The redemption period is open and email instructions will be sent to customers with those pre-orders. Um, New social media community guidelines will be effective June 3rd. Uh, we'll address that. You can see that on your news tab. Um, if you're interested at all in the records that we set in May um, for the joint promotion, that is on the news tab as well. Your personal website is designed for customers to place their pre-orders. There's an article about that. And product status list. Okay. So here's what I'm really excited about. And it's so great to see your guys' faces. Thank you for getting on. Um, so on Saturday, we had, there was a boss up training that was hosted by a group of SSDs. And I was asked to train and Liz, our special guest tonight was asked to train. And Liz was right before me on, um, Cassie, boy, you're quick on the draw, letting everybody in, thank you. Um, so Liz was right before me. I went after her. So of course waiting, you know, I was watching Liz do her thing. And, um, I was telling a couple of my, my girls earlier, like Liz, you and I haven't had the opportunity to spend much time together. And so, uh, when I reached out, Liz rocked her boss up. And so I reached out to her and was like, what are the chances I could beg and barter and I will train switch with you and everything. Can I get you on my team call? Because we would love to have you. And here she is. I was setting myself up for her to say, eh, but she didn't. And I am super honored and flattered. I know she says that she is, but I am. And so, um, Liz, I put your bio, uh, not bio, but like your little write-up about you on my Facebook page with tonight's call information. But will you tell us just a little bit about you, where you are, where you're from, when you joined, why you joined, why you, and I'll ask you a couple other questions before you dive in just so we can get a feel for you. Well, first, thank you very much for inviting me. Like officially, I just love you. And I've, I've <laughs> wanted to be your bestie for years. <sighs> so thank you. Um, no, I just think you're outstanding. And I really am flattered that you invited me because I don't think I'm that cool. Um, <laughs> I do. I, joined, <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, I joined Sensi in 2006 when I was on maternity leave with my third baby. She was two months old. And she, uh, did, none of my kids slept. And so I knew what I was in for. And my mama heart after all of that, working full time through all three kids, I did not want to go back to work because I was working for Goldman Sachs and giving them like 50, 60 hours a week and a work lead and way too much time there. And I like daycare was outrageous. And so my, I really just wanted to stay home and raise my kids. I wanted date night money. I wanted to buy name brand groceries. <laughs> That's why I joined. I wanted to be able to buy craft cheese instead of whatever Kroger or whatever. Um, we were just paycheck to paycheck, you know, and daycare was eaten away at every dime. And so that was important to me. Um, I'm OG. I know who founded Sensi personally. Colette Gunnell lives down the street from me and I trade bars with her sometimes. <laughs> um, so Colette Gunnell and Carrie Egan are sister-in-laws and they started Sensi in 2004, I think, or 2005. And my sister-in-law, who's my sponsor, 
and my superstar director is Kara Egan's friend. And so she supported Kara the Christmas they started it. And I got a warmer and a bar of wax. And I thought the idea was super cool because the house that we lived in had been gutted by fire and completely rebuilt. And I had a cat that really liked candles and I did not want my cat to ruin that house. And <laughs> so I was really into the fragrance thing and all of that. And um, anyway, um, I, I didn't do anything with it. Cause like I say, I was working full time with three tiny kids. Like at that time when she gave it to me, I didn't even know I was pregnant with number three. So I didn't have three yet, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I set it on my shelf and it collected dust for almost a year. And Jen invited me to her very first Scentsy party in November of 2006. And I walked in and it smelled like pumpkin roll. And Kara Egan was the consultant at it. The person who founded Scentsy was the consultant at the show. So low key, to totally down to earth, super pregnant herself. And her setup was so easy, simple. I just fell in love. Like I smelled until my nose stopped smelling the difference. You know what I'm talking about? And um, I felt guilty because I spent like $35 buying a new warmer and a bar of a couple of bars of wax that I really liked um, because that was money that was supposed to be, you know, like I, I thought my husband was going to be upset that I'd spent 40 bucks on Scentsy. Um, Kara gave me a free bar of pumpkin roll because it was the scent of the month in November, 2006. And I took that home and I pulled my warmer out and I put pumpkin roll in there and my house smelled spectacular in five minutes and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. So long story short, Jen's party was spectacular too. And she called me and said, I'm gonna sign up. Do you wanna do this? And I, well, I said, you're kidding. Cause I wanna do this too. So we signed up like a day apart and I have a three digit consultant ID number. Um, I was around when Orville drove down from Boise to Salt Lake to do a little spring sprint thing. Um, this is before they called it world tour, before they called it spring sprint, before they called it world tour again. <laughs> anyway, little tiny hotel, Orville himself. And he brought an old school projector like I had when I was in elementary school and slides of the new warmers to show us what was gonna happen in the spring, like what the new warmers were. It was a lineup of all the classic curves in like eight different colors and like the grapevine one, the anyway, old school, old school stuff. Super, super fun. Like maybe, maybe 50 people in that room. I don't know, less than a hundred anyway, it was tiny. So um, the next spring, they announced that they were gonna hit a thousand consultants. It was big news. <laughs> and, and I swear by that fall, they had like 5,000. And it wasn't long before that, before they had 10,000 and 15,000 and 20,000. And I just watched the whole thing grow. Um, we had to make up all, everything. We had to make up all of our training materials, all of our, all of our flyers. There was a Sensi Success was not really Sensi Success. It was a different company that, anyway, long story short, but um, I almost quit a couple of times because I didn't believe in myself. <laughs> I got saved by a couple of friends and my sister doing basket parties at work, you know, how that goes. Um, I just remember I really wasn't into it. I mean, I was so busy with my kids, but I really just wanted that extra little bit of cash. That's why I wanted to do it. And I remember when the spring, the first spring round around and I thought, should I put money into buying new testers and catalogs? Am I gonna do this? And my sister said, don't give up. You haven't even started yet. So she did a show and I got saved. And I think it was August. I went to a, a, a meeting. It was like a, a, you know, like a monthly meeting at Colette's house. Um, and they had just gotten back from convention is what they called it back in 2007. And they, at that convention, Orville announced that there was a consultant that they had just given a $10,000 paycheck to the month before. What? Back it up. You can make that kind of money with Sensi? Hold on. So that's what really lit me up and made me take it seriously. And I did my first show um, in the fall there. And I still have customers that are just as addicted as I am who buy from me and host for me that, that I met in 2008. This is legit a company that people fall in love with and keep buying from. So I just, that's, I mean, that's water under the bridge at this point. I, I hit director, um, I think, I, I honestly, I can't remember. I think I hit director two years in. I hit star director at 11 years in, no, sorry, three years in. And then I felt stuck at star director for a decade. Don't get there. Don't get stuck at anything. It's it's all within your power. Sensi offers such a huge opportunity that to feel stuck wherever you are is a complete. Can I swear on this? 
This is, it's bullshit. You are telling yourself that, just ignore that. Um, yeah, I hit superstar director last summer when everything exploded. I've never seen Sensi explode like that. I mean, I was there in the beginning, so I watched it, but last summer was unbelievable. Um, and I'm just so unbelievably grateful that I stuck it out because there were lots of times when I didn't think I was going to. And inevitably somebody would call me who hadn't called me in forever and would order a bunch. And I thought, you know who, I don't wanna turn them to somebody else. I wanna be a superstar director. I wanna have the title. I wanna have the paycheck, you know, I wanna be there. And so I just, I just kept going. So, um, so I, I have three kids. They're all, well, two of them are taller than me now. And my oldest is in college. My son just graduated, my daughter's 14, my baby who was two months old when I joined. Um, and I'm super, super grateful that she doesn't know what daycare's like because that was really eaten away at my mama heart to send them to daycare. I didn't, I didn't, I wanted to be there for all their firsts. And that that was super important to me. And I'm so, so grateful. That would not have happened without Sensi. And so here I am. I'm a I'm addicted to exercise. I think I self-medicate my anxiety with exercise. <laughs> um I've been teaching group fitness classes for about six years. I love bar and body combat and all of the fun kick and punch the air kind of things. Um, I teach Pilates. I love that. So I love to cook. I don't know. I live in the mountains. I can walk in my backyard onto a trail. It's fantastic. So life is good. And, and I, I feel super grateful that I'm here because otherwise I'd be working a nine to five and not enjoying it. So that's me. And your energy is so contagious. <laughs> like can't you guys feel her through the screen like you you embody so much sensey spirit and it's so cool to hear your story that you didn't you there were times that you felt you were going to give up that there were times you were going to throw it in but then there were also it was that it was that realization and recognition of but i don't want to be stuck and i can do this and it we have um uh, and there's a couple of them, but one particularly that is on this call, Cassie, who I use as an example a lot because she had hit director numbers in like 2010, 11, 12 ish, and then just hit it again in the crazy 2020. But in that time, she never lost her way and she stayed the course. And we, I would always tell her it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You stay the course and it happened. And so I love that you are another example. Um, you know, we know Cassie's example in our group, but you're another example of that kind of um, perseverance. And um, the energy that you bring with your story is magnetic and you are phenomenal. And thank you for that. You actually, I don't need to ask you questions because we have a feel for who you are and how you are, which I think is the perfect segue into tonight's chat. Okay, you tell me what? Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, you tell me. I'm going to make you the co host so that you have oh. the ability to share when you want to, okay. um, to, to share your screen. But, um, but this is just the coolest thing. And again, and my, my, my girls are going to say, I'm so tired of hearing you say this, but this is one of the coolest parts about our community again, because we have the ability to reach out to each other and be like, listen, I'm going out on a limb here. I'm going out on a limb, but sometimes that's how you make your friends, right? And that's how you get to meet people that are super dynamic that you didn't even know were there. So um, I'm going to stop talking about how much I just love you. And I'm going to let you train us. Well, now the pressure's on. I don't know if I can redo that. The, the nervous energy from Saturday was through the roof. And that was with two sips of coffee. You guys should see me when I've been caffeinated. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, before I get going, um, I just want to say nobody really talks about that underlying, should I keep going? Is this worth it? Kind of a thing. And I just want to be real honest and open and say it absolutely is. And I regret all of the negativity that I fed myself and churned in my brain for all those years because I lost all of that momentum and I kind of coasted and I just wasn't happy because I didn't reach what I wanted to reach. And I just wasn't looking at it right. Um, I wasn't being grateful for what I had and I really regret that. So anyway, I, I had imposter syndrome big time. Don't look that up if you are feeling any of this. 
um, imposter syndrome can ruin you. And I highly recommend that you look into that and look at all the things you can do to stop it because it almost stopped me in my tracks. And if it had, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have this massive team and friends all over the world. And I wouldn't have, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel like I had accomplished something massive in my life. So there you go. Okay. So today we're going to talk about bring back my bar marketing because we have three weeks left now before they are gone for good for June. And our lineup this time is spectacular. Um, I don't know how many of my old school favorites are on here, but Oceans, oh, let me look at it. Uh, Oceans on here. French Kiss was one of the bars I bought at that first show. French Kiss, man. Um, Kahiko Hula, Lemon Time Berry. Come on. Like this list is really good. Um, so we have fabulous tools at our advantage and all these things we can do, but just, just know that this list is really, really good. And you're going to have people in your database that will love you because you called them to tell them that their favorite thing was back, is back. Um, offer them a six pack or whatever. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to tell you there's two steps to having a really good bring back my bar season. The first one is to get the word out. Unmute. Did I mute myself? Am I good? I don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't say I'm muted. I'm going. Um, so if you don't have anybody on the list, I'm going to show you that since he's given us access to, so we know exactly who's ordered what before in the past, then getting the word out is key to getting your orders for this. So what you're going to do first is you're going to do a couple of things that will help you. The first is you're going to get a newsletter out, an email out, um, because that is super simple and cheap, right? You don't have to spend a dime on that. Option number two is this guy. I just printed him from the workstation and mailed him to everybody. I did not send samples with it, but if you happen to have stickers from past sense of the month, you could put on there, you can do that. If you want to, you can make samples and I'll show you lots of ideas for sample making and send them off. Um, there is work involved. So don't think that Sensi is just gonna fall in your lap. That was one of my big mistakes in the, in the beginning. It will not just fall in your lap. You have to do the work. So if you want to send samples, you'll get more orders, but you have to do it and you got to send them out. Don't just make them, you have to send them out. <laughs> so um, yeah, so newsletters is the first thing. Newsletters, I use Squarespace because I have my external website on Squarespace and there's just this extra add-on to do it through that. But before I did that website, I used um, MailChimp. And I know a lot of people like Mad Mimi, Constant Contact, there's lots of options. So pick one and they're usually really user-friendly like drab, drag and drop images and stick it in there. Um, I figured it out so you can figure it out. So send a newsletter to all your customers with this image and you can link the image so that when they click it, it goes right to your bring back my bar page. Um, so newsletters is easy and cheap. We're already past the time frame where you could have added something to your Sensi newsletter, um, but you can go in before they send it out every month and add whatever you want. Like if you wanna do a personal special or you wanna draw attention to something. Um, you can add whatever you want to that. And Sensi sends it out for you as long as you have a personal Sensi website that's active. So newsletters is number one. Um, number two is um, email. So you can, uh, you don't have to create a newsletter that's pretty and professional looking. You can just send an email that has this image on it. Okay, soup, that's even way simpler. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm a perfectionist. And so when I make a newsletter, it takes me like four hours. Don't spend more than an hour on your newsletter. There's, there's tip number two. Um, I just like everything to be perfect and not crazy like that. I think I might have OCD too, along with my anxiety and ADD. Have you caught on that I might be a little ADD? It's undiagnosed. Um, so emails number two. Uh, the third thing you can do is print this and mail it snail mail. We already talked about that. The bring back my bar flyer. Does everybody know where to get that? Do we need an explanation for that? Just tell yes. them anyway. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you because it's fast. Let me see if I can share my screen. I don't know how to do that. Bam. That one. Ta-da. Okay. Ta-da. Here's my workstation. Um, you're just going to go over here to Sensi Success. And log in again. Okay, so once you're in Sensi Success, you go up here. The first thing you ever do in here to search for anything is add something to the search bar, whatever keywords you think it is. The keywords look at what 
text is in the thing. So it might be called something that you don't think it's called. Just write into your best ability what you think it is. I like this one. Then you hit enter. Then you do the filters, okay? So over here on the filters, I'm just gonna go down here to catalog season and I'm gonna hit this one so that I've got the most current one because I don't wanna be confused by old ones, right? And then just apply filters. And then here it is over here. Should I move that guy? I don't know, we'll need that in a second. So here it is. You download it from here. Uh, of course that's in the way. You download it from here, it'll add it to your computer or save it to wherever you want. You can put that, it's a PDF. So you can stick it in any email, you can stick it in any text. If you don't already look into Project Broadcast because you can save so much time mass texting people all at once. And it has so many bells and whistles. I'm just barely dipping my feet into it. Um, so sending text is spe spectacular. Um, lots and lots you can do on social media, but while we're in the workstation, I'm gonna back it up and show you how to find the report that I'm talking about. So you go to reporting and then here it's sales reports. Click on view sales reports and you'll get a couple options. The one you want is on the top line. If your screen is small, like I'm on a laptop, you might have to scroll over to see it, but it's promotions follow-up. So this guy is gonna give you some bring back my bar stuff. You want the purchase history report and it will default to nothing. You'll think, oh no, there's nothing, nothing in here to look at. You're wrong, maybe. You have to go here to search by customer name and hit all. And then you have to search by product name and hit all. So I've noticed you can either do customer name or email, whichever one you do, you have to also select the all, but you can't do both of these, FYI, okay? So once you've done that, you hit search, research, and it takes a minute and it will give you a list of all your customers and every single bring back my bar they have ever, ever ordered, okay? So what I'm gonna do is show you your export to Excel right here and it will take it and add it to your bar. Do you guys see my bar at the bottom? I don't know, there it is. And you can pull it up and it is an Excel spreadsheet that tells you every single line is a cent that somebody ordered. So like I pulled mine up and ah, segue. How do I fix this? What did I do to this thing? I don't know, we're just gonna go back in here, maybe? Nope, you're gone. <laughs> Hold, please. No, uh, let's unshare, shall we? No, pause share, stop share. There we go. <laughs> Just a little tech challenge. Sometimes it's fine. it's fine. Okay, so Excel spreadsheet. And what you're gonna do is I had to take out everybody who had died because I actually have customers who have passed away. I had, to take about, I had to take out everybody who became a consultant in my downline because they're not my customers anymore. And unfortunately I have a whole bunch of customers who I don't have any contact information for. So here's where I give you a lecture on making sure that you collect all of your customer data. You have to be able to contact them. You can't do, I used to do basket parties and I would only get their first name and last name because I didn't want to be intrusive and ask them for their contact information. Well, hello, you can't contact them if you can't contact them. So um, another thing I did that I wish I hadn't, I used to sell, I mean, eventually you're gonna end up with inventory on yourself, right? That you're gonna wanna do like at an event or whatever. And so when people buy what you have, um, you're gonna go in and reorder it in the workstation so you get credit for your PRV, are you with me? I used to put it all under my name. So I have no idea how accurate my bring back my bar list is. And unfortunately, a lot of the big events I did, I just threw it all in under my name to save time. And so that report is not as fabulous for me anymore or would have been if I had been on it and kept that accurate. So take the time because your customer data is gold, okay? Um, so that, is how you get that report. And that's the super important part. Getting the word out is number one, but follow-up is number two. So this is where I really have to drill in. If you don't believe me, this is where you're wrong because follow-up is key. You have people on there who are just as excited about their favorite scents as you are about yours. I fell in love with pumpkin roll 15 years ago 
and every time it comes, every time it leaves, I cry, and every time it comes back, I hoard. Well, they will too. And if they don't know that they have the opportunity to add to their stash, um, they won't, and you won't have the PRV for it. So get the PRV for it. Call them. Calling them is best, especially if you have a really great uh, relationship with them. Um, call them. If you are a wimp and don't want to call them, because I totally get it, because I text plenty of people that I'm like, I don't really know you, and I don't want to come across as some weird, I don't, like, who, I hate it when they say, who are you? Well, that's because it's my fault. I don't have a relationship with them yet. Um, so if you can't, if you really don't feel comfortable sending, a, picking up the phone and talking to people, then text is awesome. Because who ignores a text? No one. Even if it dings and they briefly look at it, they look at it every time. If you send them an email, they might not see it at all. So resort to texting, text away. Everybody on that list, you're gonna at least text, okay? In fact, if they are your VIPs, you are going to call, you're going to email them to tell them bring back my bar is happening. You're going to text them and say, hey, Sally, your favorite ocean's back. Guess what else is back? Mulberry bush and so is my teen cactus. You're gonna freak out. Um, and then also call them. So do all three for your VIPs because then they can't, you won't be ignored. And they'll be thrilled because who, how busy are you? How many emails are you in your inbox, right? I won't tell, about 6,000 in mine. I, anyway, it's bad. So make sure that you do it in that order because texting is the best one. Follow up is if you do, if you don't, if you're not super active on social and you not want to pick up the phone, um, texting everybody who is on that list is your key to getting them to reorder. Okay. Um, so here's what you can do on social. Switching gears. Um, on your VIP page or on your wall or on your customer, on your business page, wherever you want to do it. In fact, you could do it on all of them if you want. Um, create a poll, a post that's a poll. Which bring back my bar center are you most excited about? And then put all 25 in there um, because then you're going to see who votes for what. You're going to know what their favorites are. If they're not on your bring back my bar report that you just pulled from the workstation, you have data. You know exactly what they want. You know exactly what to say. Um, so polling is really fun because then you also get more, more, the algorithm likes you better, right? So you'll, more of the people in your group will see what you're posting. Um, so do a poll. I want you to do a live sniff session with or without all of the scents. If you don't want to spend 126 bucks to get the whole 25 bars, which by the way is a good deal and you get PRV on it. So it helps you reach your monthly goals. Um, if you don't want to do that, do you have any of them in stock? Have you ever smelled any of them? You have the ability to go live and tell them what they smell like. And at the very least, you can say, this is what it smells like. And this is the keynotes and blah, blah, blah. Um, so video, video gets way more reaction than pictures do. So if you can muster the strength and courage, I highly recommend doing that. Um, you could do just a couple a day and like highlight your favorites. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, these are my three top faves. I love this one because like ocean, I love ocean because it smells like a clean bathroom. I love white tea and cactus because it smells like um, Bath and Body Works cucumber melon. I love lucky and love because it smells like who knows anyone, anyone. It's love spell from Victoria's Secret. But anyway, so if you have people who are like, what did, what, what is that? Then you know. Um, all right. Highlight a few every day. Oh, also make an album. I've been doing this in my VIP group. Every time we have something new come out, a new collection at all, I will make an album just that where I drop all of the um, images from the marketing tab in. So I'm putting links to buy those things in the description of the images on Facebook. And I'm crossing my fingers that Facebook doesn't freak out and block me or put me in Facebook jail for doing that. But I've had people flip through the just the album on my VIP page and they'll be calling me or texting me or, or just going online and ordering whatever they want. Just today, I had a lady order $126. I don't know her. She found me through Facebook on my VIP, on my business page. Um, and she ordered the, she ordered the um, Disney villains warmer and a six pack of her favorite bars. So that would not have happened if I didn't create an album. So there you go. There's another thing you can do. Um, I think I covered it all. Is this, is this legit? Follow-up's everything. 
follow up to everything, do all the things on social because it's free, emails free, uh, create a newsletter. Uh, the only thing we did not talk about was Sensi Club. So today I was um, sending text messages to the people that I haven't called yet on my list, on my bring back my bar list. And first I said, hi, this is who I am. This is why I'm, why I'm texting you. Um, and some of these people haven't ordered from me in 10 years. I'm still contacting them. I still have their contact information. They still, they might super love Loki and Love and they'll be thrilled. So, um, so I, I did the first, first text that had the link to the Bring Back My Bar page to buy everything. And then I sent a second one that says, and you can, if I said, oh, how did I say it? Anyway, basically I said, if you love it, if you absolutely have to have it, you can add it to Sensi Club, explain that a little bit with a link to Sensi Club. So I'm hitting them with two text messages, which is even harder to ignore, right? So there's my tips for Bring Back My Bar. I can't think of anything else to tell you. And my, my list is all done. Oh, the other thing I was gonna say, I would not recommend going scent by scent because you can do that in the order history. You can put each scent in one at a time and see who ordered them. I don't like that, it takes too long. Plus these people have um, ordered, they might have multiple bars that they love. And so you don't wanna call them for the first one and then realize five cents down that they also ordered number six. And so you have to call them again and fill it, you know, like you're, like you're not put together. So that's what I really like about this. As I'm talking to people, they're like, I'm so impressed that you remembered. They'll think that you're legit amazing because you know that they ordered this before in 2012 or whatever. So anyway, Sensi just makes it easy for us. This list is amazing. I didn't have this list 10 years ago. What did I do? <laughs> I don't remember. I probably didn't follow up. Anyway, it's really worth it. It's really worth it to follow up because, oh, that was the other thing I was gonna tell you. I'm not super into social. I don't do a lot on social media. I don't do a lot of video um, going live and stuff like that. I am still selling Sensi because I follow up because I've utilized Amy and whatever systems I've thrown together over the years where I'll call people and say, hey, did you get your box? Is everything okay? Or, hey, how are you liking your new sense or whatever? Follow-up is why I'm still in business. I have, I don't know, maybe 10 really good VIB customers and everybody else is kind of peripheral, but I have ran enough random orders to keep me afloat every single month. So there you go. <laughs> hey, but now, now you have to show us your fun you're going to show us things. What am right? I showing you? Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. This is, my, this is my ADD. I'm telling you. You have to show us. This is, this is Hold like it, please. the best part. <laughs> I'm such a spaz. Okay. This is the best part. I created this album for you. It's on the boss up page, but um, Melissa, you can recreate this if you want for him. Um, there's a lot of images. What I did was I just collected all the images that I saw. So these are bring back my bar images that you are welcome to use and send out. You use it, use it on socials. You can put any of these on your um, emails or text messages, whatever. So down here, I started, this was really interesting. This is another, um, another way that you can get customers and, and PRV because if, there, if you don't have anybody on your list to bring back my bar, Sensi's created this. So you can go by like, if you just want to go by um, scent families, you can say, look, this, this smells like this, or, you know, if you like that, then you'll like this. So you can do a search for each of these, sorry, each of these, if you like this, this category, you can do a search for these scents and see who likes lemon verbena and recommend lemon time berry to them. Okay. So there's another thing you can do. Um, I put all of these in here. There's one for every single scent. Let me go back one for every single, single cent so that you could create an album for your customers wherever you wanna put that. Um, sometimes I'm a very visual person, so I have to see it. I have to see pictures of the cherries, you know what I mean? Um, and don't forget about the all, the all the winners option. They can buy all 25 Bring Back My Bar Bars as well. Um, so here, this is where it gets fun. So for samples, this sheet, this one right here is, it's got room to put stickers or to staple or add baggies with felt samples or wax samples to it. So that's page number one. And here's page number two that draws their attention to the six packs and the, the 126 for all of them. Um, you don't have to do samples, but if you wanna do samples, here's some options. 
This is a picture of a gal who got the whole sampler set and she broke the bars into just the cubes. So she created eight sets of all 25 bars and she used these to do um, host their, their, the samplers for, why can't I talk tonight, for <laughs> basket parties. So um, what she's done is she said, you can keep your sampler set if you get a qualifying party. So she's using the sampler set as motivation for people to host parties this month, which is in my opinion, way better than offering sampler sets to your customers for free. Don't go to the trouble to make samples of all 25 of those bars. If they're not gonna pay you any money, it's not gonna help your PRV, make them work for it, make them do a party. <laughs> so there's that. Here's another one, this gal, she had nine bars on the list in her stock. And so she turned them into wax samples. So she created sample packs for her hosts to do parties and also for her VIPs or for um, people who are on her Scentsy Club. So she's got, she utilized what she had, which is exactly what you can do if you wanna go live on Facebook um, to create those for her customers. Here's another option. This is candy molds. And in the boss up um, thing, I put all the links to get all the things. This is the wax mold right here. It'll take you to Amazon. So this, I used to make wax samples out of those. Um, anyway, so you got all this stuff and these are one by one bags. This is actually from uh, 2019, Bring Back My Bar, but you get the idea. She's just sending the sheet that you can print off with these guys. This one I thought was so creative. So these are coin collecting sheets. Like she bought these, um, I have to show you this one. She bought these felts that are three quarters of an inch and she dipped the felt circles into the wax. So obviously she bought the sampler set to do that. And then she slid them into the um, coin collection thing so she's mailing this to her customers with the descriptions. So they, I don't, I guess they would open one at a time or pull them out to be able to get a really good whiff of those, but that is cheap. That is one sheet to send. So I'm impressed. Um, this one is felt samples and she's using those Mylar bags that are scent proof. So they won't um, share scents. And then she's got this on like a key ring, keychain thing. And then she's sending, in fact, I can go through it. She's sending this with just numbers and then the descriptions go with the numbers is on a different card. Then she's also doing the, come on, join us. And you can put your QR code on any of these. Obviously talk about Sensi Club. This is probably where I should talk about that. If you don't know what Sensi Club is, please educate yourself. It is legit the bomb. It is free VR, well, I can't talk, free PRV every month. Um, it's automatic PRV. So it makes your job as a consultant to hit your goals way easier. And Scentsy Club is for the Scentsy addict who has to have their favorite scent and they can tell Scentsy when to send it on their schedule. They'll have 30 days from, how many days are in June? 30, there's 30 days in June. So they have until the end of June to add any of these bring back my bars to their Scentsy Club. Um, talk about that all you want, that is awesome. Oh, there was one more she had in there. This guy, she had this little sticker on the back that utilizes that scan smell shop image that we've seen from the QR code parties. So there's that. Okay, the next one was, oh, this one. So this one came from Katura Wilston. She has been with Sensi forever too. She's been, I've known her since the very beginning. So she created this because she had a customer come over and she wanted to make it easier for them. So she um, made up this card so they could write their login information on it, but it also talks about the perks. So a lot of us stole this card and are sending it to um, our customers with these bring back my bar packs that we're making. Is that everything? No, oh, there's more. Okay, I love this one. I didn't even get to this one the other day. So Nicole Atnip, if you watch this video link on YouTube, talks about these samples. She um, wanted to make a ton. She wanted to do 25, she wanted to do sample sets for all of her, her basket parties this month. And they're like mailed basket parties. So they had to be thin. And the felt was going to be 180 bucks for what she wanted to do. So she is making her samples with nail polish remover pads. She got a pack of like a thousand for, you know, less than 10 bucks or something. And she dipped them in wax. It's the same thing as felt. It's, it's, it's thinner. So there's an option I thought was really creative and fabulous. Um, this one is 
Morgan Kiefer. So she made samples with these little paint pot things. And one of the things I thought was really cool about what she did, she made a bring back my bar, like it, love it list. So it's just got the 25 cents on it. So that is another thing that she can um, utilize to be able to tell what her, her customers like. She can call them and write down what their favorites are. She can do your thing, Melissa, and put all their information on um, recipe cards, um, alphabetical by scent, so that if anything ever comes back, she can call them again. I think, oh, one more. A couple of people I saw made um, stickers, labels for all of the 25 cents and they're dropping them in Google Drive. So here's just one. I really liked these because it's got the um, little sample from the front of the bar on it. So, because I'm a visual person, I like it. Anyway, if you go to this Google Drive, you will see, if it will let me log in. Yep, one for every single one. Of course, my screen's tiny and it made that small. See, isn't that cool? It's very cool. Okay, ladies and, men, and gents. I know there's gents too. There you go. There's that my awesome. That was, that was like two days worth of collating is all that was. That was just those are not my ideas. <laughs> those I got from the what did you share group. So that's that's awesome. And um, if you guys want access, because Liz said she put it in the boss up page, and that page is public and open to all um Sensi consultants. That's where both mine and Liz's trainings from this past weekend are housed, in addition to like 15 other quick little 15 minute trainings as well. So I'm sure most of you joined um, Boss Up because it was posted on Together We Sent, but this album that Liz is referring to and using with all of the resources and links is in that Boss Up page. And so um, if you saw anything that you wanted, you can go there. And if you need to get the link for the Boss Up, then um, it is on Together We Sent as well. You guys, did Liz rock it? Did she hold your attention and give you ideas? <laughs> and her energy is contagious. And this was phenomenal. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. You guys, go off and do great things. And have a fantastic rest of your week, Liz. Thanks so You're much. Welcome. Appreciate You're welcome. You. You're welcome. You guys, Thanks, guys. Thank you all the patience. Bye.